It has been almost a month since Malaysia handed Maslam al Kastari back to Singapore, but the former Jama'a Islami leader has not disclosed much about his escape from the Whitley Road Detention Center. Masalamat Kastari's escape in 2008 saw a massive manhunt on a scale never before seen in Singapore. The question on everyone's lips, how he got to Malaysia and did anyone help him? The government says the CID is questioning Masalamat on his escape while the ISD is investigating it from a counter-terrorism angle. Masalamat has not given a completely reliable account of how he evaded detection while a manhunt was launched to find him and how he made his way to Malaysia. As this is the part of his escape which is still under active investigation, I'm not able to share any details at this stage. Mr Wong said Ma Salamat escaped via a toilet window which did not have a grill. He had observed renovation work at the centre and when taken to a toilet in a new block, he noticed the window. Noting this lapse, he planned the escape getting guards used to his routine of closing the toilet cubicle and turning on the tap. He also started hanging his pants over the cubicle door to deceive guards into thinking he was still inside. And while in the forested area, he took off his light green baju kurung. Mr Wong said a revised regime for detainees has since been implemented. The detainees are now classified into three risk categories to be exact. Masalamat is now placed on the highest category, which is red uh, category. And being a red category of uh, detainee, he, his movement will be closely observed and he's heavily shackled wherever he needs to move around the cell. And, uh, uh, and also for him, we have a larger Goka Guard uh, uh, escort team to ensure that uh, whatever measures or acts that is planned to have uh, will not succeed. Members also discuss the current threat levels to Singapore. Now that Maslamat has been detained, is the terrorism threat lower uh, and is Singapore safer for it? Um, second, is there a greater threat, for example, a revenge attack posed by his network? Holding Maslamat in preventive detention means that there is just one threat less. But there are others out there in the region the threat posed by the network therefore remains real and significant. Mr Wong said details as to how Ma Salaman managed to reach Malaysia and if anyone aided him in his escape will be revealed once investigations are over. However, a lot will depend on how cooperative Ma Salaman is. The